So why we call it as union territory? Because it is under the rule of precedent. What is double taxation? Tax calculated on tax is called double taxation. IGST stands for any sales happen between two states. We calculate GST under what head? Under IGST head. Crude oil, petrol, natural gas, jet fuel are not involved under GST. Hello everyone, this is your other sir. Lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in a session three of your topic called indirect tax. Now, in the previous session, what are the topics we have discussed? Now, in the previous session, we discussed about your features of GSP. Along with that, what is after GSP and what is before GSP. Along with that, we also discussed your major things like we are discussing today in the types of GSP and we did few problems on GSP in the previous session. So before GSP, what was your tax calculation? After GSP, what will be your tax calculation? After calculation, we got to know that before GSP, it was high. After GSP, it was less. The price of the product is decreased. I'll explain you once again while doing this session. Now, what will be the today's agenda? The agenda is very simple. We will discuss about two things. One will be your types of GSP and the second one GSP rates. Now, before that, as I told you, in the previous session, we discussed like before GSP and after GSP. So as per our calculation or example problem, before GSP, the tax was high. After GSP, the tax was less. How it was like? In this, the product price is 1000 and you it will be the first stage at the time of manufacturing. Just assume that forget about tax and everything. What is the product value? The product value is 1000 from the manufacturer. Manufacturer, somebody will buy in a lot like wholesale. They will buy it for 1000 and they will sell it for 1500 to the retailers. This is manufacturer. This is wholesaler. From wholesaler, it will be sold to whom? A retailer. At what price? 1500. Retailer, what he does? He will sell it to another shop. He will sell it to another shop at a price of 1800. Another shop. This 1800 worth, this shop owner, he wants profit. What he does? He sold to customer at rupees 2000. Clear? Finally, the goods sold at what value? 2000. Now, same example. Here it is 1000, 1500, 1800 and finally it came to what value? It is 2000. Now, this is the actual value before taxation or without taxation. You will get the 1000 at the time of manufacturer. If it passes from one person to another person, each individual will keep his commission and he will sell it to the another person. Finally, 1000 rupees at a time of my, if you go to factory, you will get it for 1000. If you go to your nearby home for that particular product, you will get it for 2000 because in between three person has shared their commission. Now, this is without tax. If you add tax, before tax, what will be the value? After tax, what will be the value? Just assume before tax, 1000, assume that it is a 10%, it will become how much? 10% means it will be 1100. How much he has added? He has added 500. It will be 1100 plus 500, 1600 into 10%. It will be 1600 plus 160. It will be 
1076p in the second stage itself it has become 1760 come to third stage 1760 he added how much 300 he added 1500 to 1800 means 300 he added for this you add 300 tax also included it has become 2060 you add 10% it will be how much like 260 will be added 260 if you add it comes around i'll write it here 2320 it has become how much 2320 now we'll go for the last stage again he added 200 rupees 2320 Plus two hundred, it will be two thousand five twenty plus ten percent, around two fifty two something will be added. It will be around two thousand seven seventy two. See, with the tax before GST, what happened? Your thousand rupees worth goes after keep on adding the tax value. It has become. 2770 remember every amount including tax whatever 10% you have calculated on tax itself so it is a double taxation it is called cascading effect hope you understood what is double taxation tax calculated on tax is called double taxation hope you understood and is also called as cascading and your value is around 2772 if you go for without gst or before gst remember i'll write down here 2772 this is before gst before gst these are the calculation now after gst what happen whether will have the same price or any changes happens i'll go for that so remember Thousand, thousand five hundred, thousand eight hundred, and two thousand. I'll remove everything here. These are the without GST. Now we'll go for the with the GST. Now same procedure. You come first will be one thousand on the ten percent tax. It will be one thousand one hundred. Clear? Yes. Now next you will not you added five hundred rupees. You will not add five hundred for this. You have to add five hundred for this. It will be thousand five hundred plus ten percent. It is around one fifty thousand six fifty. Hope you understood. We have not adding this hundred rupees for tax calculation. There is no double taxation in GST. Now thousand five hundred. Now we'll make it thousand eight hundred. Next procedure thousand eight hundred plus ten percent one eighty. It will be thousand nine eighty. See. Whatever tax calculations are there, we have not added for tax purpose. Again, next two thousand into ten percent, it will be two hundred. It has become two thousand two hundred. There is a final answer. No double taxation here. Remember, if you go for normal GST, how much you are paying? the product price at the end of the year it will be 2200 but if you go before gst 2770 see with gst with gst the value will be 2200 before gst the value was 2772 almost we were paying 572 extra How much we are paying extra? Five hundred and seventy-two. We were paying extra. There is a extra amount. We can call it as additional. Additional means extra. We are supposed to pay. So with the help of GST, see, almost we have saved five seventy-two rupees. That is the advantage of GST. Hope you understood. These are the calculation we did in the previous session. Again, I made a small recap or revision today. We'll go for the next one. Types of GST. Now I don't take much time because you will get hardly five more question on this types of GST. Now normally we have four types like central goods and service tax (CGST), 
State Goods and Service Tax (SGST), the Union Territory Goods and Service Tax (UTGST), and the last one, Integrated Goods and Service Tax. It is IGST. These are the tax calculation or types of taxes we have under GST, like CGST (Central). SGST state, I, UTG, GST, it is a union territory as well as IGST. Why we call it as union territory? Because it is under the rule of precedent. Now, in this what happened? Anything sales happen within the state, we go for CGST and SGST. Like we collect tax of 10,000 within the state, 5,000 will go to state, and 5,000 will go to central. Remember this, whatever tax collected within Karnataka, everything will not go to Karnataka. In this, 50% will go to the central and 50% will go to the state. Just assume that you go to some hotel, restaurant. So how much you are paying tax assumption? If it is a 9%. So how much you are paying tax? 9%. All 9% tax will go to government. Yes, it will go to government. But in this, 4.5% will go to central and 4.5% will go to state. These are the calculation we have in the GST. Remember, CGST and SGST, it is any sales or purchase happen within the state, we calculate this. We calculate as a GST only. Later, we do a bifurcation SGST and we do a bifurcation of CGST. Clear? Yes, good. Now, the Union Territory Goods are Service, UTGSP. UTGSP, Union Territory Goods and Service Tax. Once again, I'll repeat Union Territory Goods and Service Tax. We have a separate calculation for them because as I told you, which are controlled by precedent. For them, whatever tax we calculate, that comes under UTGST. Hope you understood. Now, I'll go for the last one, integrated IGST. What is IGST? Now, same procedure. This is Karnataka and this is around Kerala. Kerala or else we can go for Tamil Nadu. Now, Anything, any transaction happen between two states, Karnataka to Tamil Nadu, Karnataka to Kerala, Karnataka to Maharashtra or Goa, any state it may be. Any transaction happen from one state to another state, we call it as this one, IGSP. What is this? IGSP, Integrated Goods and Service Tax. Remember this, IGSP stands for any sales happen between two states, we calculate GST under what head? Under IGST head. Clear? Yes, good. This is all about your types of GST. I'll go in detail, not much detail, with a small two to three lines explanation. First one, the state goods and service tax is GST. Now, SGST is defined as one of the two taxes imposed on transaction of goods and services of every state levied by state government of every state. SGST replaces every kind of existing state tax that includes sales tax, entertainment tax, VAT, entry tax, etc. All like earlier you had entertainment tax, you had VAT, you had your sales tax. All put together we have one tax now that is called your GST. Under GST, we are calculating here state goods and service tax. Now, under SGST, the state government can claim the earned revenue. As I told you, if it is a 9%, what is your SGST? 4.5. Complete amount will go to whom? All amount will go to state. Now, I'll go for the next one. The central goods and service tax. Now, under this, CGST is referred as a central tax levied on transaction of goods and service which take place within a state. Now, imposed by the central government, CGST ensure to 
replace all other central taxes inclusive of street tax, CSP, then SAD, etc. Prices of goods and service under CGSP are charged in accordance with the basic market price. Whatever the basic market price is there, according to that, the tax will be calculated. Hope you are clear. This is all about your CGSP. Now, we'll go for your IGSP. As I told you, integrated. Why we call it as integrated? Because it is for the transaction happens one state to another state. Now, IGSP is applied on the interstate. Remember, interstate. What about CG and SG? It is intrastate. Intrastate. Intrastate, we call it as your CG as well as SGST. Now, this is all about your interstate. Now, transaction of goods and services. IGST is also applicable on the goods being that are imported to distribute among the respective state. Now, the IGST is levied when the movement of products and services occur from one state to another. As I told you, any transaction happen from one state to another, we go for IGST. Now, the next part will be called as the Union Territory Goods and Service Tax, so UTG. SP. Now, remember, applicable on the UT supply of goods and services, the aim to impose UTGSP is to apply a collection of tax to provide benefits as same as SGSP. The UTGSP is applicable to five union territories, namely Lakshadweep, uh, Daman, and Riyu, Dada, and Nagar, Haveli, Andaman, and Nicobar Islands and Chandigarh. These are the states comes under. Yeah, even though we have eight or nine, right now we have eight union territories. So it is applicable for these many states. Clear? Yes. We're done with all your four types of your GST. Now, few items are there. Still, the taxes, GST is not applicable for them. Which are those? I'll tell you now. Diesel, we will not calculate GST. There is a separate tax for that. Crude oil, petrol, natural gas, jet fuel are not involved under GST. Even though the alcoholic, that also. Now, as now, liquor is kept out of GST. Remember, liquor, alcoholic drinks also not comes under your GST. Therefore, it would require an amendment under constitutional provision to be bought into GST net. Right now, these things like whatever your crude oil, petrol, diesel, or any fuel for the jet, or else if it is a alcoholic drinks, right now it is not comes under GST. We need amendment to make them to include under GST. Now, so this is all about the products, not a part of GST. Then GST rates in India, this is not a specific or fixed rates, so it, it is keep on changing. Every year, if they make any amendments, the rates will change. This is not fixed. Right now, these are the percentages we have. There may be chances of changes also. Now, in this, there are four slabs categorized based on the goods, like we have 5%, 12%, 18% as well as 28%. I'll go back now. Under 5% slab, threshold items are included like sweets, sugar, spices, tea, coffee, coal, edible oil, all comes under your 5% slab. Now, if you go for 12%, under this slab, computers, processed foods are Includes like cheese, ghee, Ayurvedic, medicines, cell phones, and fertilizer, etc. All services like con contracts, business, class, EA ticket, and non-AC hotels also included in 12 per. Remember, non-AC hotels comes under 12%. If it is an AC or 5-star hotel, the percentage will be higher. Clear? Yes, I'll go for the next one, third one. 18% this slab qualify for toothpaste, soap, 
हेयर ऑयल एक्सेट्रा एज वेल एज कैपिटल गुड्स एंड इंडस्ट्रियल इंटरमीडियरीज कैपिटल गुड्स मीन्स वॉट मशीनरीज या इक्विपमेंट ऑल कम्स एंड कैपिटल इवन द वेहीकल्स ऑल कम्स एंड कैपिटल गुड्स द लास्ट वन इज कॉल्ड 28% in this all luxury items which are the luxury items like this lab involves luxurious item such as premium cars consumable premium cars means what like mercedes or uh, audi so these kind of cars will comes under luxury class a1 class for that premium cars we are supposed to pay higher rate of tax it will be how much 28 if the vehicle price is 1 crore the 28 lakh will be what the gst almost more than 25% more than 1/4 of the value of the vehicle we are paying to the government now so durable consumer ac refrigerator etc so all this comes under your 28% slab hope you are clear this is all about your today's session actually i'll go back to all the slides so that you can take screenshot so these are the types what we have types of gst the first type second type third one fourth type and this is all about which are not included under in gst these are the item the rates of gst the second part of rates of gst so this is all about your today's session hope you understood what is gst you already you have understood what is gst but today we have discussed about the types rates and the following items which doesn't come under the gst slab so these are the things i wanted to discuss in today's session have a good day we'll meet in the next session with problems thank you